Greater is he that lives within us than he that's in the world. I praise the Lord for that song. I praise the Lord for the song that Brother Corbin and the girls sang a while ago. Christ living in us. I'm going to do everything I can to restrain myself. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do everything I can for the next few moments. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm going to get it accomplished, but I'm going to do what I can because this is not what God's called me to do. Handamoshi, he's called me to warn, to warn, not to judge, but to warn. For 25 years, I've been standing in this pulpit preaching against the false prophets, the false teachers, the false pastors, the false preachers, the falseness of this world. I've been judged to say, well, he puts down all of God's people, God's men. No, I don't. I don't preach against God's men. I don't, I don't talk about God's men. If, if, and, and preachers, if you're called of God and you're anointed of God and you're winning souls and you're doing God's work, I praise God for you. And, and there's, there's thousands that are out there doing that, thousands. But that, my job is not to, to, to talk to those guys. It's to, it, it might be in a sense I'm going to try to do that this morning. I want to, I'm going to try my best to exalt the brothers in Christ that have been called of God, that are standing in the pulpits, lifting up the blood of Jesus, holding up the banner. Because until you've walked in the shoes of a man of God, until you've walked in the shoes of a pastor that's trying to pacify hundreds and hundreds of people, you don't know what that pastor's going through. Until you've walked in the shoes of a pastor that's called of God, that's trying his best not only to, to make decisions to take care of his own self, his own family, his loved ones, the congregation, the church. He has to make decisions for everything and try to make it all come together. Until you've walked into his shoes, you don't know what a pastor goes through. And so there I praise God for the men of God. Right here in this county, there's a lot of men of God. I could sit here and name them off, but I'd be afraid I'd leave out one or two, and I don't want to offend anyone. But there's great men of God right here in this county. We may disagree on certain things, but every one of us believe the same thing about the blood. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that sets man free. Now, some of the pastors that I could name, they're more interested in satisfying their congregation than they are preaching the whole truth. They don't want to tell people what sins they can do and what they can't do. But, you know, that's between them and God. But the blood of Jesus is what we have to lift up. So I, I'm, I've taken three minutes. I'm going to take another minute to praise the men of God that are called of God to stand. Now, but the false prophets out there, the false preachers are what we have to be aware of because Christ warned us all through the New Testament. Paul warned us. Peter, Ma Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, all the men of God have warned us. And I want to tell y'all, and some of you are going to know what I'm saying, some of you are not. But you've seen it because I know you saw it. Trust not man. Trust no man. Christ was a man. Paul was a man. Peter was a man. John was a man. Matthew was a man. I'm a man. We're not to trust the false men, the false prophets, but to make the statement, trust no man, can lead people the wrong direction. So when you make that statement in this church, are you saying, trust not the pastor? Don't trust the pastor. Don't trust any of your brothers in Christ. And yet some of you put amen to it in your Facebooks. Oh, goodness, I got pages after pages after pages that the devil will use anything that man creates to destroy the work of God. He uses television. He uses computers. He uses Facebook. He uses all of these different tools to destroy the kingdom of God, to destroy the kingdom 
And the pastors, the men of God, have to fight not only the devil through their own walk, but we have to fight the devil through our family's walk. Because you see, I can't walk the walk for my family, for my children, but I have to stand in the gap for them. I have to stand in the gap for myself, first of all, because, like I said, the fire darts come to the pastor. You don't have to believe this, but the men of God that are watching this and their congregations that are watching, you need to be lifting up your pastor daily, praying for him, because he's, he's going through battles if he's a man of God. And you need to be lifting him up because these fiery darts are coming toward him, but then they're also coming toward his family. The devil is going to come after the pastor's family faster than he is the sinners out here that are living for him already. And when the devil comes after the pastor's family, guess who the pastor's going to stand in the gap for? He's going to stand in the gap for his children. He's going to stand in the gap for his cousins, his brothers, his sisters. He's going to stand in the gap. Why? Because he knows that he's got a calling upon him. And he knows that, praise God, he's, fa he's faced the devil. And if you're a man of God, you know what I'm talking about. You've come nose to nose with Satan. You've come toe to toe with Satan. And the Holy Ghost inside of you rose up. Uh, and praise God, you saw victory. I've sit there and I've snared the, uh, stared the devil in the eye. And praise God, he spat in my face. Uh, and he tried to do everything he could to cause doubt and unbelief. Uh, but let me tell you something. Something rose up in me. Uh, and it wasn't David. It wasn't David's flesh. Uh, something rose up in me because if it had been my flesh... Uh, I'd have drawn my right hand back uh, and I'd have slapped that 13 year old girl clean out in the streets uh, but instead I bound the devil uh, I come against the devil that was in her it wasn't me hallelujah it was the spirit of God in me uh, and the spirit of God rose up uh, and praise God when I bound that devil that devil had to come out of her why because greater is he that's in me uh, than he that's in the world uh, and that's why I can stand here today uh, and tell you praise God uh, that if you're a man of God uh, you know what I'm talking about uh, when the enemy comes after you your family. You've got to stand in the gap. You've got to step up and bind that devil. And you've got to let the devil know you know who he is. He'll slip in like the angel of light. But praise God, you don't back down just because you're in the house of God. You don't back down just because, praise God, the devil is trying to run over you. You don't back down simply because there's a brother or sister in here that don't want to hear you talking about the enemy. There's a brother or sister in here that's saying amen to false gossip that's going around the community. Let me tell you something. When you got it, you got it. And praise God for you men. that's got it this morning. I praise God for those of you that'll stand up and tell the congregation, this is what thus saith the Lord. If you like it, praise God. Stay here and shout with me. If you don't like it, the door swings both ways. I didn't invite you here. Hallelujah. If you want to leave, it's okay. But as far as me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And me and my brothers and sisters, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Why? Because we're going to be a peculiar people. We're going to be a little bit, a little bit different. Why? Because something inside of us that the world can't have. You've got something inside of you today that the world can't get. The world wants it. In a sense, they want power, but they can't have the power that I got. Praise God. Duke Energy would love to be able to harness the power that's within me. Praise the Lord. That power can run every city in the United States or in the world, in the universe. It puts light upon all the stars. It puts light in the moon. It puts light in the sun. That power that's in within me lights up the entire universe. And let me tell you something, Duke Energy would like to have harness just a little bit of it. If they could harness a little bit of it, they could.